Did you guys hear about uh, Urban Meyer and his, his quotes regarding the free agent process? <laughs> I saw these last week. We didn't get really a chance to talk uh, yeah. talk about him uh, on the show. But well, he just wasn't overly pleased. Urban Meyer, one of the great college football coaches, of course, his story is well documented. Went from Bowling Green to Utah, where he coached Alex Smith, left Utah, went to Florida, won a couple of national championships, and then Ohio State had tremendous success there. Uh, most recently working as an analyst for Big Noon Kickoff on Fox with a bunch of our buddies over there, Rob Stone and Brady Quinn and Reggie Bush. Um, and then enters the NFL, now the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. So it's new to him. The NFL is new. Urban Meyer has been a college football coach throughout his career. So this was his first foray into free agency. And he essentially called the legal tampering process awful. He, he said, <laughs> he said the, thing, yeah. the thing you don't do is call somebody who has skin in the game. So it sounds like he was kind of calling some other guys around the league to try to get a feel for, hey, what do you think about this guy? You know, I'm thinking about offering him $25 million. What do you guys think? <laughs> Obviously, they're going to be playing coy because they're not going to tell him <laughs> right. what they're doing. And he just wasn't, he wasn't used to that. You know, he said, like, in recruiting, we would have our recruiting meeting. We would identify the best players and then just say, go get them. And usually at Florida and Ohio State, he did. He would get all the guys that he wanted. He goes, and then all of a sudden – I start finding out a guy costs $28 million and this guy costs, uh, I don't know what. So I was trying to put all these puzzle pieces together, and here's your cap space, here's your choices, you know, can we take them? But there are three of these guys so we already have at the position, you know, so I, I imagine once you build a roster the exact way you want it, you know, then, then you can take one guy and go get that $25 million athlete. But it sounds like he was kind of figuring out the whole free agent process as it went. Just call, he called it awful. He called it awful. <laughs> And some would say the recruiting process is awful in college. So, <laughs> well, not when you have a recruiting budget like they do at Ohio State. You know, and they probably had a bigger <laughs> recruiting budget than they did for agency budget there in Jacksonville. I'm going to be fascinated to see how that goes with with Urban Meyer because I, one of the things that that Urban has never done is call plays, right? And the vast majority of these coaches that are hired yeah, now are these offensive geniuses. No, he's not calling the plays no. though. No, and and so Urban has never called plays. He's never been a offensive coordinator. Right. So he is much more a manager of people, the CEO of an organization, than he is kind of football genius. And obviously it's worked out very well in college. And I think it that lends itself to the NFL much more, I think, than maybe calling your own plays. I'll, I'll tell you how it's going to go, Dan. Jacksonville's making the playoffs. When? Five years? <laughs> no, no. 2021. Oh, is that right? Urban Meyer comes in. You know what he does? Tell Everywhere me. he goes, he wins. Yeah. Everywhere he goes. He even went to big noon kickoff, and suddenly they're winning the ratings They battle. actually were. He's <laughs> you know right. I mean? He's got a point. And now they're going to have – now. you thought Robert Griffin was Michael Jordan? They're getting the real Michael Jordan. What are you Trevor, smoking, bro? Give me something. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence is coming to town. Free agents are coming to town. They got a good running back. We know the defense has always been there in Jacksonville. Look at that division. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Texans, dumpster fire. Okay. Titans, uh, uh, they've been kind of lucky the last couple of years. Their luck's got to run out. I don't know if I'd call it lucky. And Carson Wentz, really? Jacksonville's winning the South oh and God. making the playoffs. So Jacksonville's going from one and fifteen to ten and six, division eleven and champ. five, division champs. We talking worst. playoffs or what? Yeah, we're talking playoffs. <laughs> worst to first. Hot take of the day from Chris Brockman, ladies and gentlemen. Jacksonville's um, win division and Brian Fitzpatrick's going to the Hall of Fame, right? I'm just going to break. There you go. Down. Thank you yeah. for for marrying those two together, so we can just all realize across the nation how completely asinine that that statement <laughs> is. Kansas is in the Sweet 16, people. I am. Feeling myself. As you way, should be. Right? As you should be. By the be. way, in regards to the AFC South, I want to give the AFC South a little love because nobody ever talks about the AFC South, right? They're just, they're not, they're not big market teams. Like nobody talks about the AFC right. South. That was going into last year, we thought could be one of the best divisions in football along with the NFC West. Uh, the, the Titans have, are undergoing a lot of changes, especially on the defensive side of the ball. They've released three quarters of their secondary, so they're kind of rebuilding there. They need to, they signed Bud Dupree, but they need to get more pressure off the edge. Uh, the Colts are a good football team. I, I'm still not – I'm not selling Carson Wentz stock right now. 
I know. Hold, he, I know him. he was terrible last year. Terrible. I just feel like for him, so much of it was mental, and I think getting back to Frank Reich, a guy that you had success with, yeah, is going to be able to easily kind of rebuild that confidence. The Texans are an absolute dumpster fire. Yeah. Um, who knows what's going to happen with them? I don't think Deshaun Watson ever plays for them again. So I could see Jacksonville having a seven and nine type season. Remember, there's seven playoff teams now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, ex- I, extra spot. Yeah, I just. You know, we paid a lot of attention to the Colts this year, Dan, because we all had multiple fantasy players. And yeah. that Colts yeah. team is tough, man. And, uh, you know, I, as a Cowboys fan, obviously I don't like the Eagles. But I kind of think Carson Wentz might be able to do a little something next year for the Colts. I, I like that move from them. And, by the way, I, like they're both 11-win teams, right? Yeah. The, the, the Titans and, and Colts are 11-win teams. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.